what's happening here is that we're moving the caboose and you can see that it's got it's attached to a line that line is hooked to the fishing net and as we there's a big spool in there that we'll soon find out and as we wind that spool that will pull the net both in and out again is that line connected to that hole over there once we wind up the once we wind the net onto that spool right there we will then backtrack that and that'll pull the net back under so welcome to the caboose got a stove in there fish boxes go there got a whole bunch of shelving and such so now as you can see pop you're just gonna start digging for the net fishing for the lines and this is the spool that the uh, net winds up onto. Big old contraption here. Got a little kitchen here. Even got a microwave and such in there. Good job. Good job. Oh, got your hook there. So this is the setup we got here. Got the wooden such in there. We are hooked up to the bomb it here by some lines big old generator hooked up in the front here you stay warm you got electricity out on the ice got a couple jiggers set up here a couple ice picks it's quite the contraption having all this out on the ice again there's about two feet of ice out here right now so no worries about anything falling through such extra gas let's go take a peek inside this vomit here as you can see living quarters. the living quarters yeah this is the living quarters got an extra auger there uh, Dave here Dave what year is this vomit here? 56 56 1956 bought it off the natural resources a few years ago hey First year they made the metal one. Oh, well, there you go. Before this was wood. Back, yeah, back in the day, that was wood. So, pretty epic these things. Pretty cool. And Dave built the shack all by hand this summer. This is brand new. I don't know what they retail for, but. Oh, look at that! Our first fish. Yeah. Now you can get the frying pan out. That's right. <laughs> Toss them in the box right here. <laughs> that right there. Look at this. We got a Dave. We want to explain what's uh, what's going on with the net here. What's there to explain? Winding up. Fish stream into net. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we click, clicks the switch there, spins it onto the big spool. That's what the power button is for. That's the power button, yep. Yeah. Power plant runs it. Does the fish come up out of the hole? Oh, we got one right there. Alright. Yeah, we got some pickerel here. Got a gold eye. Another gold eye. Whole box full of stuff. Mariah. That's your pop's favorite fish, Mariah. Mariah. 
They're, they're nice looking fish, those ones, eh, Pop? Look at all the fish we got here. Where does she live, girl? I think she's in Salt Creek right now. She used Is to that uh, Kenny yeah. Maransky's mother? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they used to live right there. They wouldn't, they wouldn't live right there. Well, I guess she used to live right there. In, the, in that house? Where Kenny is? No, no, no. You know, they had a little house right close to the road. Uh, right by the... Wait for a fish to come out? Oh, look at that. Still flopping around low. There's a whole school of fish there. We, this is what we got out of the one net here. And that's pretty good. It's pretty good. So all the time this this line was spooling out to the other end of the net way down there at that other hole. So now what we're going to do is reverse it and pull the net back under. So see it going down? Simple flick of the belt, engage, engage the spool, and there you go. That's how you put the net back under the ice. Wait for another day. Dave, how often do you check the net in winter here? I, uh... I've been doing it twice a week, but once I get a few more in, we'll take it once a week. Yeah. So once or twice a week, fish will last and the water's pretty chill enough. So there it is there. Goes all the way up, over Dave's head and out. And all the way through down to that hole. Pretty, pretty interesting way. <laughs> 